Welcome to London Transport Museum. Have you ever been on the London Underground before? If you have, turn to your partner and describe the experience in three words. Just a heads up, this can be a good time to pause the video when I ask a question so that your class has time to discuss the answer. Today, I'm going to be telling you the story of the world's first underground. Do you know which city it was invented in? I'll give you a clue. The name of the city is in the title of this museum. London, exactly. The world's first underground was invented here in London in 1863. The clever idea came from a solicitor called Mr. Charles Pearson. Charles came up with the idea as a solution to the overcrowded streets of London. The centre was so busy that it took forever to travel through. So, Charles and a group of pioneering engineers, including a Mr John Fowler, came up with something totally radical. Something completely unheard of. A steam train that runs underground, which is this steam train right here. This steam train looks pretty different to our underground train today, doesn't it? And ours are definitely not powered by steam. Turn to your partner and describe three ways in which you think riding on this underground is different to riding on our underground today. And bonus point if you know how our underground trains are powered. I want you to imagine that you're a Londoner 158 years ago and you're being told that they're going to dig up the street, build a tunnel underground, put a steam train inside it and then cover it back up again. How do you think you would have felt? Look, here they are, using the cut and cover method to build what would eventually become the Metropolitan Line. Turn to a partner and discuss if you think this looks safe. How does this look different to a construction site that you might see today. Some people in Victorian England found the idea really unnerving. Wouldn't it be scary down there in the dark? What if the weight of the tunnel collapsed under the traffic overhead? Despite the worry, the Metropolitan Line was a huge success. They started it in 1860 and they finished it on the 10th of January 1863. The tunnel ran from Paddington to Farringdon and it's estimated that 25,000 people rode it on its opening day. And I think we can safely say that the engineers did a very good job because parts of the original tunnel are still in use today. So my advice to you is don't give up. Even if an idea seems impossible, it's an engineer's job to think of creative solutions. In fact, you guys are the engineers of the future. Can you think of a transport-related problem that needs fixing? How can you help? What can you do? Oh, good luck.